Hello everyone and welcome back to another vid. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm uh, using an iPhone for this particular video. But what we have here is a BBC B computer, 32K. And then today uh, the adapters come from Retro Clinic, a Pi Hat. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, it's that there. Uh, and that's connected to a Raspberry Pi 2. I've just downloaded the Turbo um, not turbo, the tube image. Uh, you format the SD card to FAT32, copy, copy all the files from the tube image onto the FAT32, so you don't have to um, you don't have to re-image any IMG files, you just copy the whole lot onto the uh, SD card, pop it into the Pi, power up the Beeb, and if you have um, Acorn filing system, uh, what is it, 1770, then it should boot up into Acorn Tube 64K. Now mine didn't, I've spent all day on this, and the reason is that IDE cable there, which is, was it 40 pin IDE? Um, the one I used before is an older IDE cable, and it just, it was Old gobbledygook. So I had all I was changing ROMs, I was doing all kinds of things. But it was just the cable. Put the cable back, uh, change it for a new cable, put it all back together, and it started straight away. So when you turn it on, I'll do an example. Uh, sometimes it bleeps, sometimes it doesn't. That's because I fitted a volume switch that's got a bit of dust in it. Anyway, it's having one of its moments. So we have uh, Acorn Tube 6502-64K. Now what this does with the Raspberry Pi, it gives you a tube interface uh, emulator if you like. And with that emulator you can run, bear with me, you can run a 6502 at 274 MHz, 6502 at 3 MHz, 6502 at 19.8, a Z80, a 286, a 6809, an ARM, which will be native to the Pi, um, a Pandora coprocessor, you can disable the processor or you can use native ARM 1176 at 1 gigahertz. These are apparently timings on a Raspberry Pi Zero. This is a Pi 2. I'm not sure how that compares with the Pi Zero. I expect the Pi Zero is faster. Anyway, so as you can see, we're in 6502, we have 64K of RAM, not the standard 32. So if I change the tube processor, so I'll put star FX151 230, and the next number is the core of the tube we want to, uh, the tube core that you want to run. So if I put zero, it'll be a 65CO2 coprocessor at 247 megahertz. Um, but before we do that, we can run, which I've seen somewhere, we can run a speed test. So we'll do that first because it's far more interesting. So we'll run a speed test. So we put page, bear with me, equals, and I'm not the fastest on the BBC keyboard, as you can possibly tell. Uh, 1000. Uh, and then it's O dot, which I think is load, is it? Run. Okay, BBC Basic CPU Timing Program. Repeat, real loop repeat. Okay. So I'm going to compare these tests to the example it show you, which is a, no, I can't, I can't read the writing, but it does show you a comparison to a Pi Zero. I think the Pi Zero is probably faster than the, a Pi Two. But everyone's got Pis, Raspberry Pis kicking about, so you can use this with the Pi Three, and I think you can even use it with Pi Four now. Though. Um, quite why you'd want to do that, I don't know. Any Pi is more than fast enough for speeding up the BBC. 
Now, for those of you who know, probably know a lot more than I do, the BBC Micro was used... Uh, right, here we go. So the combined average speed is 198.8 megahertz compared to a 2 megahertz BBC B. I'll just move the camera so hopefully you can see that a little better. There we go. I'll try and see, try and put this in a nicer position. There we go. I know that's not particularly helpful, but um, I'm limited to the table room at the moment. So anyway, uh, so yes, for those of you who know, the BBC Micro was actually used with the tube processor, with the tube processor support, to develop the original ARM processor back in the 1980s. Um, which is actually used in my iPhone, which I'm using now to record the BBC connected to an ARM, emulating other processors. So everything has come full loop. So let's change processor. I've only had a couple of goes with this, so I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? We'll do star ROMs. Bad command. Why is it bad command? Uh, this machine has got an Aries uh, ROM, uh, sideways ROM extension board, so it can have whatever it is, 12 or something ROMs in instead of the usual four. So it, uh, it can do quite a few more, a few other things. <coughs> what we need is Kenneth Kendall in here speaking to us. I shall have to have a look at that later. I don't have the ROM. I think it's two ROMs actually for speech. Anyway, so let's do star FX 151,230,000. Comma, and we'll pick a core. What have we got? Where's my list gone? Lost the list already. List, list, where are you? List, right, okay. So we've got 286, we've got Z80, we've got ARM2. Let's go, I don't know, let's go Z80 for the sheer hell of it. So that'd be four. So all you're doing now is press break. And there we go. Acorn tube Z eighty sixty four K. Well, whilst I'm in there, I wonder if I can change it. Let's try. FX one five one two uh, thirty. And let's go zero. There we go. Back to normal. Fantastic. What else can we do? 286, let's do that. Star FX 1512 oh, balls. 230 and the 286 is core 8. No, oh, that didn't work. FX 130. Uh, eight. Oh, I haven't put star. For goodness sake. Eight. There we go. Two eight six with nine uh, eight hundred and ninety six k of RAM. Fantastic. Uh, I think there's a color demo as well built in somewhere. So let's just have a quick look at the instructions. The colour sphere. Okay. So again, star FX. So we're going back to a 6502 now. 151 Let's turn it off. Uh, we've got bleep this time. Um, star oh, BBC. I'm not used to BBC keyboards. Uh, I used to use a BBC keyboard at skirt uh, BBC keyboard, a BBC computer at school in about 1986, 85, 86. I think they came in in 85 to our school. Don't know what 
this is. This is a colour sphere. Whatever that means. Presumably it's doing some sort of timing on the top left there. I don't actually know. I don't I haven't looked into this in any detail. I've spent most of the morning getting it running. I was so excited to see it run. I thought I'd do a video quickly before I pack it away and do some repair work. If anyone's got a BBC B case that's in better condition than mine, I'd quite like it. Mine's a little bit battered, it's got a hole in the side. And the um the brown plastic whatever it is, cover by the keyboard, where the ROM is, or the ROM socket, where it says cassette motor, caps lock and shift. Uh, it's split and cracked by the space bar. So if anyone's got a spare keyboard case, I'd uh, be quite happy to have that off them. Uh, right, how do I get out of it? Break, I guess. One thing it won't do with the Aries ROM in it, which I might disable, because it's pointless. Um, it does have the turbo MMC as you can see, but if I press shift and brake, well it says tube is on, I can turn the tube off. Um, these commands should boot it now into a, a, a menu, games menu, but it won't because the Aries ROM is in there. The Aries ROM gives it sideways RAM and sideways ROM. Now the RAM is 52k I think, so I don't need it with the tube connected. But I do like having the extra, uh, extra ROM room Let's see. I think I might do that now actually, disconnect the Aries and then um, I'll take the ROM out at least but leave the Aries in place. It still works, you just don't get the RAM. But I don't need it because the tube gives me 64k. Which I must admit I've never used anyway. So I wonder what it does. What can I actually run? Uh, so what if I load up Processor, what can we have? Let's have uh, let's have number one, and then let's see if we can run the color test one five four. Or five three, okay, that's not very exciting, is it? Start FX, whatever mode we're in now, one five one, two thirty. What else can we have? Um I think it asks you to put it in mode zero. Let's go for the ARM two processor. We've got the second ARM processor A. No idea what this is. Let's see if we can um, I command. I don't obviously as you can see I don't know how to work that. Now shift and break. Arm second anyway. So I'm going to go play with this and find out some programs, what does what, what I can do with. I've only got a five and a quarter inch disk drive for this machine, as well as the MMC. Um, I might do a GoTech for it, I'm not sure. I might, I might not, who knows. Um, but I'd quite like to run some programs with the tube connected and see what it does. So let's turn it off. There we go. Back to normal. Fantastic, I love it. But I'm going to play with this at, at, uh, at great length, I suspect. Fantastic. Page equals and thousand load and run. Again, this is a Pi 2. If you used a Pi 3, it'd be faster. Or a Pi, whatever. Pi 4, I guess. Go like stink.
Come on, BBC. Let's give us a result. Uh, you can run Elite Enhanced, I think. I'm not sure if it's on the um, BBC MMC card, but I shall have a look. But there we go. So I'll leave you now, and we'll, I might try and load up the BBC um, Elite thing, the Enhanced version, see if that works. Okay, that'll do for now. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant weekend, and I'll see you next time.